so good to see you all. So we're here for a, our Adobe live stream. I've got Melody here for two mm. hours. Yay. We're going to be continuing <laughs> our stream from yesterday, working in XD. So it's going to be a fun, an exciting yeah, day today. I'm really excited. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you're back. Thanks. I'm glad so, to be back. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a really exciting schedule to here today. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. This is our last stream of the day. Uh -huh. Yes, very sad, sad. <laughs> but we're going out with a bang. Ooh. So this morning we are live from 9 to 9.30 with the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge with Kathleen. And then we were on from 9.30 to 11.30 um, with Claudie from Print My Soul. She was working with graphic design and then we were live with me doing the XD Daily Creative Challenge, and now we're here for two hours. I'm so excited. Me too, Yay. I'm excited. <laughs> so yeah. we're gonna be doing a chat and win in about 30 minutes, so stay tuned for that, um, where you guys can win 100 free stickers from Ooh. Sticker Mule. I know you guys love that. <laughs> I love that prize. <laughs> yeah, and we'll have to think of another question oh, yeah. for that too, for you guys to chat away on. <laughs> and then in the last 30 minutes of this stream, we'll be doing portfolio, er, Sorry, not portfolio <laughs> reviews, challenge reviews from the Daily Creative <laughs> Challenge. Um, so be sure to submit those if you want us to review before the last 30 minutes of the stream. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pull up the challenge if you guys have not seen it. Um, this is the behance.net slash challenge slash XD. So go ahead and register up here if you're not already registered. We've got all the instructions, all the prompts from each of the days that we've been working on it since last Tuesday. And again, if you haven't already um, joined, don't feel like you're behind or anything. You can still download all the files from each of the day with um, the UI kit and whatever I was working on during the stream. So today's was responsive resize. So taking something from mobile and tablet. Nice. Yeah, so we'll review <laughs> that later during the stream. But I wanna go ahead and toss it on over Yay. to you. Ooh. So. For the people that didn't <laughs> oh, see yesterday, unfortunately. Yes. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Why you don't should you watch it? it I know. It'll be on Behance <laughs> or YouTube. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you want to rewatch it. Yes. Um, but if you are new, my name is Melody. Mm -hmm. I'm a freelance designer in the Bay Area and also host on Adobe Live sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so you're doing a little switcheroo doing a right switcheroo, now. Switcheroo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so yesterday, um, I started to do a redesign of a redesign I did a year and a half ago. For for mm -hmm. Bumble Biz, which is the, the um, sorry, the like networking section of Bumble. Mm -hmm. And Bumble is known as a dating app usually, but they do have mm -hmm. two other sections. They have a BFF section and then a networking section. Mm -hmm. And so I am working on the networking section because I awesome. thought it would be interesting. Yeah. And this That's something we don't usually see. I yeah. feel like you see a lot of the just networking redesign or the the other redesigns mm -hmm. like yeah. the matching yeah but not yeah the networking yes. which I like so yeah so this was inspired um when I was in college um mm -hmm. a year ago well I graduated a year ago but I was in college and I wanted to practice my UI skills and redesign something and I was using Bumble Biz and I found it to be not so effective for networking um because this is a screenshot of what Bumble Biz looked like probably like two years ago, a year and mm -hmm. a half ago. And as you can see, the image is like taking up the whole screen. And mm -hmm. this is how the UI looks for the dating section and the BFF mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of taken aback by just the large image. I'm like, wait, is this yeah. dating or networking? <laughs> so I was kind yeah. of confused. And that's not a good thing to be right. confusing those two because right. they're very different. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I decided to redesign it. And this was my redesign from a year and a half ago. And it's kind of funny to look back at it now because um, I a feel lot like, of yeah, a lot of things, yeah, I would do a mm -hmm. lot of things differently today. Um, but I think it's kind of fun to look back at your old designs yeah. and see how yeah. far you've grown and what you'll do mm -hmm. differently. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and yesterday. Um, so let me go over like my little intro Yeah, things. since you kind of, your computer wasn't working <laughs> yeah, yesterday, yes, so we, yeah. we're getting to look at it a little yeah, more Yeah, so my <laughs> XD, unfortunately, for whatever reason, wasn't opening. Um, right before the yeah, stream started. Right too. when I sat down, and I think it was like my Creative Cloud or something, but, but it's working now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's working now, but um, 
So yesterday, um, we defined the problem statement mm -hmm. for this redesign and the goals. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the first redesign I did and some competitive analysis, which mm -hmm. I'll go over. And then we determined what to prioritize on the profile page because that was one of the problems is how do we prioritize all the right. things that people want to look for. And then we started to design a mid, I would say low to mid, not sure. mid to high <laughs> fidelity <laughs> screen. And then today, our goals for today is to finish designing the screens and then prototype using auto animate and then turn our project into a case study and upload it to Behance. Awesome. Yay. This will so, be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I like the like revision mm -hmm. or like revisiting your old work yeah. too. I think there's a lot to be said fun. for like being really introspective and looking at your own work mm -hmm. and how you've improved. Yeah. And, you know, what what visual choices you do differently mm -hmm. and like the the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Benjamin's saying my XD can't open either. And Slava saying seems like it affected by some update. Maybe. Mm. I don't know. I wonder if anyone else is yeah, having Yeah, there's a link in the chat um, that Val just posted. <laughs> so with Adobe Sport, if Ooh. you have any any questions. Yes. But um, nice. So to look back at our problem from yesterday, um, Bumble Biz feels too casual to be a networking app and mm. the way that the content is prioritized is not really efficient for networking since they kind of place the image at the top. So right. it kind of seems like what that person looks like is what's the most important, mm -hmm. which isn't necessarily true when networking. Um, and some of the pain points, like I mentioned, the image takes up the majority of the screen. There's a lot of text. Um, so on Bumble Biz, they have like predetermined questions mm -hmm. that you can choose to answer. And mm -hmm. I feel like some of them are pretty long answers. and. Right. I personally wouldn't read that. Right. <laughs> so we don't need like your whole resume. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I don't know. Like if you're like applying to a job and you have to sure. enter everything, like right, that whole right. process takes a long time and mm -hmm. yeah, no one <laughs> <laughs> really wants to read everything. And I hate the I hate the ones where it's like you submit your resume, mm -hmm. but then they ask for you to type in yeah. everything on your resume anyway. So what is up with what's that? The point? <laughs> I that, don't understand. That bothers me. <laughs> But yeah, so we, we don't want any of that with this mm -hmm. redesign, so yes. And also it's difficult to find other people in your industry mm -hmm. because on Bumble Biz, there's people from all types mm -hmm. of industries and you just have to swipe until you find someone that kind of resembles what you want. <laughs> so that can be time consuming. They pro maybe they did that on purpose. <laughs> they just want you they to want stay, you to stay on the app. app. Yeah, mm, that's, maybe that's, that's very true, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not good for the user. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so the goal, like my personal goal mm -hmm. is to improve the content design of the profile pages so that users can find the information they need. And the user goal is for the users to be able to easily find other people um, to connect with and grow the network. And these are the personas that I came up with. Love it. Um, yay. With these lovely illustrations from Adobe Stock. And so we have a recent grad mid senior level person and a career transitioner. And these are mm -hmm. the three types of groups that might use this app. And we are gonna focus on a recent grad mm -hmm. because they might be new to networking sure. and they don't really know where to start. And I feel like an app is probably an easy way to kind yeah. of ease into it. it seems less mm -hmm. intimidating than being at a networking event and having to walk up to someone. Right. Because <laughs> that can be <laughs> scary. <laughs> yeah, like cold turkey. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so Brianna is asking, so the current Bumble Biz website is their current design question mark, and this is what's being redesigned. Um, so this is so I, I don't know if it's a website, but it is an app, mm -hmm. and this is what the the current app looks like. Mm -hmm. This, but I I was saying yesterday that this white box is not there on the actual app. It's like text over the image, so gotcha. it's just the image <laughs> with like their headline and their mm -hmm. name and what they do. Um, so yeah, so I'm redesigning this, but also redesigning this, which is my first redesign. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's so kind it's of a redesign squared. Yeah, <laughs> yes, redesign squared. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing that and then focusing on a recent grad. And then I'll quickly go over our competitive analysis. So we looked at Bumble Biz and identified some pros and cons, which I kind of already talked about. And then another app that is a big competitor, I would say is called Shaper without the E. Right. <laughs> so keep it on trend. <laughs> um, trendy, I trendy guess. Trendy name. Um, Novell's. Yeah, like no, the new thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Um, so Shaper is basically just a networking app that you also swipe, but um, also I, I kind of blocked it out, but you only have like 15 profiles you can swipe on, I think oh. per day, I don't know. Okay. So this is I the paid one, correct? This is, you have yeah, you have to pay to use a lot want. of the features, which is unfortunate. Mm. So for example, I wasn't able to search for, I was trying to search for UX designers who wanted to mentor other people. And then when I clicked search, it said I had to pay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, weird. so this one, and then um, I believe it's like 15 profiles and then I, I don't know they like make you wait a certain amount of time before you can come back oh okay which i don't know about that hmm. <laughs> but anyway maybe i should add that to the con but, but yeah we looked at some pros and cons mm -hmm. right here and then we also looked at linkedin which is not a very close example but i think it's also nice to look at yeah. somewhat mm -hmm. related examples it's still networking definitely yeah. more professional I'd yeah say, way but... more professional <laughs> Um, and then some pros are like, it's trustworthy. A lot of people know LinkedIn and it shows mutual connections, which someone mentioned in the chat as a suggestion yesterday, which I think is really good for networking, mm -hmm. but not good for like dating apps. We kind of talked right. about that. Right. <laughs> it's going to be kind of weird. Um, in my opinion, I don't know for anyone else, yeah. but, <laughs> but yeah, for networking, I think knowing someone that knows that person can be helpful. Yeah. And it's also really hard to search on LinkedIn. I've exhausted my people search for this month. It's this so exhausted. Like, it was, like, yeah. It's so much work. Okay. Yeah. So, and I, d I didn't even search that much. So, <laughs> so yeah. So mm. being blocked by searching is a little. They're sad. being greedy with their searching. They are. They people. just want people to sign up for their yeah. pro mm. account. But yes, and then I'll move over to my what I designed yesterday. So, I kind of like touched it up a little and I'll show that in a second. But <laughs> this is what I started designing yesterday, which is the like low to mid fidelity like mm -hmm. wireframe of what it would look like to create your profile. And we have adding pictures and about me section and what they're looking for. So they can select like if they want a mentor, a mentee, all that stuff. And we got a lot of help from the chat, which was yes. awesome. Thank you chat. If you have any other suggestions for me, please let me know. Mm -hmm. um, then we had industry, job title, education, and then I feel, okay, so I had work experience, but I got rid of it because. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That makes it seem too like resume. -y. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I don't want to fill out the whole resume. Me like, too. We were just talking about, so. <laughs> yeah, so I, like after my stream, I went to go back and finish up what I was working on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, would I want to enter my work experience? Right. No. Right. <laughs> then it's like a chore. Almost. Yeah, exactly. And I, I don't want it to feel like a chore. So I just took it out. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got down to here. And when I, I like updated it a little bit and it might not be like perfect, but oh, I think it's great. pretty. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So we have, I have a pretend image of like they already uploaded a picture of themselves and they can mm -hmm. add three more or two more if they want. And then um, I showed what it would look like when the thing was highlighted. Mm -hmm. And then they entered their information. And then, um, so I'm imagining that this would auto populate. Um, okay. Like when they when enter you start in there. Typing. Yeah, because Makes I feel sense. like there's so many universities and colleges yeah. and I don't know. I just feel <laughs> like that's the easiest way. Totally. Um, so, and then I, uh, I just Oh, what's put, HCD? Oh, so HCD is a degree at University of Washington, which stands for Human that's Centered. Where you went, correct. Yeah, okay. but I did not do this degree. Okay. Um, I didn't know about it, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, so it's Human Centered Design and Engineering, oh, and it's okay. like a UX engineering degree. It's like really oh. popular. Okay. Um, so if anyone's looking for a good hmm. Degree, like it's a math. I think they have a bachelor's and a master's program. Okay, so gotcha. I would look into this. Oh, that's interesting. And there's also um, masters of human computer interaction and design. At wow, UW. that's a mouthful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they call it M H C I plus D. I think, I think those are the right. <laughs> the plus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But that's another good um, yeah. program if huh. you're interested. It, yeah. It's like very focused on UX. Right. Right. And, which is like, design. if you know that's what you want to do. Yeah, like, that's really good. You know, that's yeah. great. Yes. 
um, so I just put that in there because mm -hmm. I couldn't <laughs> think, and it was kind of short, so I was like, I'll put that in. Yeah. And instead of work experience, I put years of experience, um, mm -hmm. and like using a range. Sure. Because I feel like maybe that's easier, and I right, don't know. We can right. always mm -hmm. do some testing and see what people feel comfortable sharing, or if they don't want to add. That. I actually like that because I think it groups more people together. Because mm -hmm. if you yeah. say like two years versus like that's a different group mm -hmm. than like five years. Yeah. But I think like, you know, grouping more people together is, yeah. is good. I agree. And then I have some interests. Mm -hmm. And then- Feeds um, on video yeah, games. Yeah, <laughs> feeds on video games. The important things. Yes. <laughs> um, and then for socials, I wanted to add their portfolio mm -hmm. and I didn't know what icon to gotcha. do. So I, I actually, um, this, sorry, let me zoom out. So this, um, these icons I got from uh, Adobe Stock and there was okay. like a bunch of them. Right. And actually I might have them. This is another image <laughs> of a profile. Okay, so this is the Adobe Stock. I can't make this bigger. <laughs> um, but they have a bunch of like icons and I don't know why my illustrator does this, but it's like, I, I don't know, can you see it? Like the lines are kind of disappearing oh. when you like zoom huh. out. So I, I thought that was just our monitor or something. <laughs> no, it, it like happens. Oh, on, that's actually, I think yeah. my laptop has some problems. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, oh. so I found, I was like, what should I do? Sure. Should I do a click? I don't know. So I kind of, I liked this um, like mm -hmm. monitor. But it's like your website or yeah, something. Yeah, so I yeah, was like, that maybe sense. that would be like mm -hmm. resembling a website. Sure. Um, but it the these icons are they're like they're not outlined mm -hmm. and they're a fill so it, you can't like make them right, thicker, thicker or thinner. fill them in. Mm -hmm. So I copy and pasted that and then I like like got that inspiration and drew my own sure. little mm -hmm. laptop. So yeah, yeah. so that I have that. Great. Thanks. And so this is the screen for creating your profile. Mm -hmm. And then once you create it, you'll go into like swiping and stuff. And then one thing I wanted to show is um, that I talked about yesterday, which is I wanted to, um, like on the top of the app, it kind of mm -hmm. curves and I wanted right. that to be fixed because on Bumble, they have that where, like the, I don't have it on right here. So if you can see it like kind of cuts off that curve when you like scroll oh. down hmm. and it like cuts it off. So I was trying to figure out how can I fix that? Yeah. And I came up with it, a solution and this is what, solution looks like so it like so how did you do this so i will show you how i did it <laughs> yay so what i did was um let me move this up oh, so okay I, see. I you added some yeah corners. i added some corners That's and i can show you how i did it um let me ungroup this and then i don't need that actually so to create this i just made two squares and taking off the border. So I made one that was the background color mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna make another one that's, oops, that's white. And then the curve is 40 pixels. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, it turned in, how did it turn into a square? <laughs> a circle. Oh, I did it. I, I meant to do one side. Oh, I see. <laughs> Not all of them, <laughs> sorry. It's like, what happened? Okay, so I only want one side, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. click this one and do the first side. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to match this up as best as I can. Wow, the chat's then... really active today, guys. Hello, Yay. everyone. Ooh, hello, chat. Sorry to distract you. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> so I have these and I'm gonna group them together and then if I go over here, there's a subtract button so I'm gonna mm -hmm. do that and it takes off that shape mm -hmm. and so I can get so you use the pathfinder tool to do that okay. um yes. cool cool yeah and then can oh I didn't bring the circle high enough oh <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I can do so sometimes for that scrolling it looks like you have to do a little bit of finagling mm -hmm. like your own sort of workaround to make it yeah. work, make it look like it's like how I want it to yeah. look. Yeah, <laughs> still all one piece. We've got Rodrigo from Brazil. Everyone's saying where they're from. Ooh. Brazil, Central Florida, California, Oklahoma City, Ooh. 
Awesome, all over. Yay. Okay, I think I grouped this together, which I shouldn't have. <laughs> Maybe I can send that to the back. That looks right to me. Yay, thanks. Mm -hmm. And then a quick trick is you can flip this so I don't have to do it again. And I there can just go. flip it around, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> okay. So we only have about nine minutes until our chat and win, by Ooh. the way, guys. So I know you love that. Yay. So stay tuned. <laughs> I got the dimensions right, but... Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> so then I grouped everything together, and then now the fixed position while scrolling moved into prototype mm -hmm. mode, so it's not in the design section yeah. anymore. So I can click it here and make sure it's at the top of your layers panel, and I hope this works. Yay! Awesome. Cool. So we got yeah, that Yeah, that's a good effect. workaround. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now... Uh, I'm going to start designing the profile page. And oh, do you want to show people how you um, like did the scrolling? Oh, or oh, just yeah. that you have to drag down the. So this line, this dotted line, mm -hmm. um, shows you where the end of the iPhone screen is, mm -hmm. and if you drag the artboard down from here, you'll see the dotted line, and mm -hmm. then this will show you that you can scroll, and then you can just drag all your shapes down and everything. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then when you go to, when you push play, mm -hmm. you can see the scrolling effect. Yeah. And everything. Awesome. So, yeah. Cool. Um, Catalina, I usually lost little white shapes on the artboard. Is there a cutout option to see every piece in oh. XD? Do you mean on like your pasteboard? This is what I would do. Just like drag. Mm -hmm. And then do this until something is, gets oh, highlighted. But I don't know. That's true. If like, you can see yeah. everything, though, oh. I don't know if there's a shortcut for that. I don't either. Maybe does right. anyone in the chat know? <laughs> I, okay, mm -hmm. I think I know what you mean. So like when you drag something that's a little like bit white. off of the artboard, yeah, and then it, you lose it accidentally. I think I think she's uh, or they're asking on the artboard. But if it's like a white shape, but it's invisible because it's white oh. and everything else. Like right, the background yeah, yeah. is white. I think if you select yeah. everything though, you can yeah. see if there's is there like a any other thing, or you can just look in the layers panel to. Oh like, yeah, that's click another around. good way. Yeah. I mean, you have to kind of read through, but yeah. And as you can see, I have not <laughs> named everything, <laughs> which can Most be hard. Most people don't though. Yeah. You know, it takes some time to do that. <laughs> okay, so I'll get started with the profile. So I'm duplicating this artboard and kind of working mm -hmm. off of this to create the profile and I have this white like curved rectangle locked because it kept moving around when I was trying to design. Right. So I think locking it is helpful. And I'm gonna delete this and this. So what page are you working on? So now? this is um so after you click create profile mm -hmm. it'll show you other people's like profiles that you sure. can start swiping through. Oh, okay. So this so. is like the home page, sort yeah. of. Right? Yeah, kind of like the home okay. screen. Like when you open the app, mm -hmm. you'll see the screen. Okay. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yay. So we've got about six minutes till that chat and win. Ooh, chat Woo. and win. Yay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still don't know what question we should ask. I'll try to mm. think of something. Yeah. Okay. Something designer related. Yeah. Maybe favorite favorite designer book or something. Ooh. I don't, mm. I don't know if I can pick one. <laughs> So I'm just gonna fill, this is where my image is gonna be. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to curve the top two sides mm -hmm. to 40. And you can also do one at a time by holding Alt and you can drag like the circle. Um, That's a good tip. Yes. It's nice, um, but also it can be hard to get precisely the right. amount of pixels. So sometimes I'll start to do that and then I don't get to the pixels I want, so I'll just go here and change it. But yeah, there's two ways you can do that. Um, and then I have this picture here <laughs> of this guy. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna copy and paste. 
I wish I could get professional photos of I know. me just working. Yeah, if you go on Adobe Stock, there is like, so I searched like guy or like woman just to find like yeah. professionally pictures of them. And this, and you can do like search all from this model. And there's like a ton, like this is the other one from that same guy. So, oh wait, not this one. <laughs> there's this one. Oh, maybe you can oh, see it. Oh, of the same model. Yeah, I wonder if I can. No. Um, anyway, there's a lot of pictures of the same model, which is kind of cool. Right? Um, no, that's handy for this because yeah. you want the same person yeah. for your mock-ups mm -hmm. at least. Yeah, <laughs> so, and then there's like this specific like scene had a lot of different poses. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Um, and yeah, I wonder like who, like who gets to be like these models. <laughs> right, right. I don't know, it seems kind of fun, but also like some of the like expressions that people do are really funny. <laughs> So if you search around on Adobe Stock, you can mm. find some fun stuff. Stock photos. <laughs> yeah. They're, they can There's be interesting. Fun, yeah. <laughs> There's some fun ones. Okay. Oh, so before I do the About Me, someone yesterday in the chat mentioned to add their location. And I uh, forgot to add that here, but we're going to assume that the app knows your own location. Right. Uh, but for the other person, I'm going to... Like location services, it just does yeah. it automatically. Yeah, it works. And I, I didn't want to design that because that <laughs> yeah. could be too This is a concept anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I'm just copying this um, location icon. Nish says, I really like the UI even though it's hi-fi. Hi-fi is high fidelity for any, anyone that doesn't Ooh. know. Yeah. Love it. Thanks. <laughs> Val said, um, when I'm working hard, people say I look so angry. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I think I do that too. Like, mm -hmm. I just like. I don't know. I, I feel like I might too. I don't know. No one's ever said anything to me, but. <laughs> no, I feel like you have a pretty pleasant disposition. Oh, thank you. Though. I think yeah. you do too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. These icons are impossible to uh, select. Can you zoom in more? Okay, that helps. There we go. Okay. Maybe I'll bring this down. Um, we'll just say he's in San Francisco. And then I'm gonna, I have my character styles that I mm -hmm. saved, so it's easy to refer back to. Nice. Okay, and then for his about me, oh, I forgot something. <laughs> forgot to add his name and what he does. Probably need the name. Yeah, <laughs> so, so I was imagining to put the person's name and their like title. Right, um, like because, the current title. Yeah, current title. Mm -hmm. So on here, we have them enter it here, but I didn't want that to be lost with everything on their mm. profile page, so I wanted it to have it at the top. And so first, I'm gonna, so some images, like this one, it would be hard to use like white text. It might be hard to right. see. So I'm gonna do this gradient, and on the white, side or on the top part I'm gonna bring the opacity all the way down so it's like see-through mm -hmm. um, and then for this one I might make it a little darker I don't know and I can play around with it later mm -hmm. but this will help the text be able to be seen yeah um, so I, let's see what name what does he we... look like he looks like a, a John John okay <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think John. I don't know. <laughs> if anyone has a cool name for him, let me know. <laughs> Oops. I always, always a guy in a flannel for yeah. these stock photos. Yeah. You know, on their laptop with yes. a little coffee mug <laughs> and a plant. Oh, yeah, the plant and the cool <laughs> furniture in the background. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I always, does anyone else just type V all the time when you're trying mm. to get out of <laughs> this? Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, we have about 20 seconds until the chat. 20 seconds. I what? thought of a question, though, that we could ask them. Oh. Um, what's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Ooh. I don't even know if it's Girl Scout cookie season, mm -hmm. but I love Girl Scout cookies. Ooh, me so, too. what about you? Um, I like the Thin Mints. <laughs> mm, Those are my yeah. favorite, and I like putting them in the freezer That's and best, then eating them. Yes. Right? So good. Yeah, <laughs> like super crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say tag alongs for myself. Oh, yeah. But Those okay, so now it's chat and win time, guys. Your favorite. Yay! So let us know in the chat what your favorite Girl Scout cookie is. 
Um, or just if you want to say something cookie, else, that's maybe. fine. Or yeah. any cookie. Yeah. yeah. Let us know. <laughs> and we're going to play a little video and chat away. And we'll Ooh. pick one lucky winner to win 100 free sticker mule stickers. Yay. All right. And tag alongs and thin mints. Yay. Those are looks like the most popular. Have some great chocolate taste. chip. That's a, a good one. Chocolate chip. Samoas. I'm not a big Samoa fan, actually. I don't think I've tried those. Yeah. Oh, you guys are going crazy. Mm. Samoas. They are chocolate. chocolate chip. They are mint. They are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Anything mint, really. Yes, yeah. yeah. Thin mint. Chocolate. Peanut butter. Ooh, peanut butter. Ooh. Yes. I like um, peanut butter cookies with the Hershey Kisses oh, in the middle. Those are, those are so, so good. good. <laughs> so good. Samoas. <laughs> you guys are going crazy. All right, we've got a winner. Ooh, you want to read it? Hannah Siebert. Awesome. Congratulations. I feel like Hannah has yay. won before. Oh, I feel I like I've know. seen a Hannah before. Maybe yay. it was another Hannah. Well, congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. Oh, Hannah. Oh, Hannah likes tagalongs. Tagalongs. Yay. That's Congrats. a good one. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and send you a private message on Behance for how you can get those. If you didn't win, you can still check out this link above um, to get a discount on some of your own stickers. Yay. So thanks for playing, guys. That was fun. Yes. Shortbread, Samoa. Now I want some cookies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now we're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That Yay. was great. Yes. I saw someone was someone had a funny name. <laughs> For, for John, John. Oh, I totally forgot. I missed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. But maybe, maybe they'll say it again. Yeah. Um, but John is going to be a UX designer. Okay. And I want to make the UX designer text bigger and bolder, so it kind of stands out more. Oh, Hannah yeah. said, sorry to interrupt, oh, she said, good. I've been trying to win stickers forever, haha, oh, <laughs> I watch every day. Yay. Wow. Oh. Hannah. Well, I'm so happy you won. That's awesome. <laughs> yay. <laughs> we love oh, it. The two names, okay, Chandler Bing and John Kaw Kawasaki. <laughs> oh, okay, I like both of those. Yay, me too. What, hmm, we like, Kawasaki Bing. Is that too long? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Kawasaki can be his first name. Sure. <laughs> Kawasaki Chandler. <laughs> or maybe we can do We're really good. Kawasaki. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm so interested. Oh, Val said, let's make him Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. Like Ooh, okay, let's do that. Okay. Mike Wazowski is a UX designer, and I was kind of going back and forth with if I wanted the name to be like on top mm -hmm. or to the right, but I feel like, well, on this picture, it's like kind of hard to see the right. text. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine having it on the bottom. Yeah. It's a little darker down there. Yes. So this is Mike's profile, so it's going to have like all of his info, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So thanks for playing that chat and win, guys. Um, also be sure to stay tuned for our reviews of your daily creative challenge later Ooh. today in the stream during the last 30 minutes. Yay, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I love seeing yeah. everyone's designs. They've had some so good fun. ones. Yeah. Like really good ones, yeah. and I love the prototypes. Like especially mm. of the piano, we did a piano. Yeah, one. those that was looked fun. so good, yeah. and it was really fun to play. Like using my own keyboard right. to play yeah. around with right. the piano, it's really yeah. fun. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so now we have this, and then we're gonna do a little about me. Um, I need to change this. Brianne said, "It's impossible to say Mike Wazowski without saying it like." Mike Wazowski. <laughs> you know That's what I'm talking about? Yeah. That old crabby lady with That's the glasses. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Such a good movie. Yes. So his bio. Just saying. Like, yeah. I want to meet new, new designers mm -hmm. in the area. 
Hannah said you could create a darker overlay that would go over all of everyone's profile pics so you could stack the name and title. Ooh, that's a good okay. idea too. Either way. Yay. So for looking for, like when you, so I was thinking that when you were looking, oh. Val said, sorry, <laughs> that's okay, I interrupted. <laughs> Val said, um, can we have a quote from the person on the profile? <laughs> it should read, put that thing back where it came from, or so help me, Mike was asking. That's funny. <laughs> it's Maybe. a quote from the movie yeah. if you guys haven't seen. <laughs> that's funny. Maybe we can add that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, People might get confused. Yeah. <laughs> but that's funny. <laughs> Um, so I was thinking, sorry. Where were you? Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> um, so when, like, when you're selecting what you're looking for, um, and then when you're swiping through people, if like whatever you selected matches with mm -hmm. that person, I was thinking it could be highlighted as a different color, so you can like easily see. Right. Oh, this person is looking for a mentee, mm -hmm. and I'm looking mm -hmm. for a mentor. So maybe like you guys can match. Um, I like potentially. that. Potentially. So. So I'm gonna. So would you say you're in like, is this still high fidelity wireframes for um, you right now, or is this more? I you're would in the say this side is like things? high ish. Sure. <laughs> fidelity. Yeah, yeah. Um, I might. I I don't know. For me, I feel like I always want to like go back and make edits and like update yeah. my designs. Right, right. Um, but I think for for now, this is what I'm gonna go with. Yeah. And no, I love it. Thanks. Maybe in <laughs> another year and a half, I'll redesign. <laughs> Just every year, I'll, it'll be like, yeah, I'll come session. back on Adobe Live. Yeah. You know those shirts where it's like, yeah, like the someone, picture. a picture of someone yeah. wearing a shirt wearing the shirt. <laughs> That's what you should do. Yes. Oh every God, time we go on that. Adobe Live, we'll have a t shirt yeah, with a of ourselves. Of <gasps> we should. And then the next day, we'll wear that. That would be really funny. <laughs> anyway, we're getting anyway. off on a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. So. Okay. Say, looking for a mentee, and then I'm going to take off the border. And the, I'm going to use like a green color mm -hmm. for like the matching preferences and then change the text to like a dark green. So this can be like front and center. And then. That was killing me. She said, <laughs> yes, little one eyed green man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, keeping an eye out for a mentor. Like the <laughs> eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man, That's you're really killing funny. me. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. That would be funny. <laughs> so he's looking for a mentee. Yes, yeah, so yeah. he wants someone. He's a little older. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and also I'm not putting his age because we talked about yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, Bumble Biz does not show your age, mm -hmm. but the dating and BFF sections do. Yeah. I and so I think, good. yeah, I think it's good not to show mm -hmm. their age when it's like networking. Because mm -hmm. that can be, I don't know. That's not something I would want to like. I mean, talk I feel about. like <laughs> age discrimination is kind of a thing, sort mm -hmm. of. Like when people are looking at, you know, because it's like they only want someone with so much experience yeah. or so. That doesn't even need to be. I anything. agree. <laughs> Brianne says, let's make the whole app dedicated to Monsters Inc. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I was watching, was asking. I was watching. Okay. Looking for a startup. Yes. So startup was another mm -hmm. one of our suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, and so since our user didn't mm -hmm. select that, we yeah. will say, that, I don't know. So I'm going to have it be blue. So it's okay. like their own interest. Um, and then have my notes here for the order of things. Okay, so then, so we're gonna enter their industry or just place it here. And then, I don't know, do you feel mm -hmm. like industry is important to show here or? I was kind um, of like going back and forth. Like just so to like even design include industry it. Or yeah, I was gonna say like this person, mm -hmm. Mike, <laughs> would be in the design industry. Uh -huh. And then, actually, yeah, I think I might just change this to design. Okay. So it's more broad. Um, and yeah, then there, why not? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think maybe we can just mm -hmm. we'll add this and then we'll make it green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Hugo. 
He's sending me ice cream cones because I said in Discord to send me oh, ice cream cones on the nice. chat if you guys are coming from Discord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And then, then I'm going to have years of experience. And so for current job title, mm -hmm. I just have that here. Right. Just so we Over don't the need picture. To, yeah, mm -hmm. we don't need to have that under here. Um, let's see, years of experience. Yeah, I would say those are the two most important things. Mm -hmm. The name and what your current title yeah. is. I feel like that's what you, you just want to see, like, what mm -hmm. they do. Yeah. Here. And so... That's why I'm putting that at the top. And I'm gonna use this. So, sorry, what does the blue okay. against the green mean? Blue versus green. Oh. oh, it's kind of hard to see. Sorry if it's hard to see for you. Oh, it's okay. At home. <laughs> yeah. Um, so blue is their interests okay. or whatever they're looking for mm -hmm. or their like options that they've right, selected. Right, right. But when it's green, it mm -hmm. is something that matches the user that's swiping. So they can like quickly oh, see like yourself so yeah, like so we're yourself. looking at this isn't this like is, he's looking at his it's like yeah. you are looking at this his. is from the perspective I of see. this girl who's a recent grad and she wants someone that's looking she's looking for a mentor um, and then this person's looking for a mentee so mm -hmm. they would kind of match and have same interests yeah. like what they're looking for so this would kind of show her that they're looking for this right and then maybe like on the onboarding of the app this can be explained. Yeah, <laughs> just no, that so makes that they sense know. To me. Because yeah, mm -hmm. it, it can be confusing. Like, sure. what, what does green mean? What does blue mean? Mm -hmm. um, but since I'm not doing like the sign up onboarding part, um, that would be there. Yeah, that <laughs> would be there. We're imagining yeah. that. <laughs> but since this is like kind of a specific redesign, I'm just going to focus on the profile screen. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, for years of experience, he has three to five. And, and I think this is from responsive resize. I don't know, but it like oh, cuts off the... Yeah, because it's grouped together mm -hmm, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's okay. And then I have education. Mm -hmm. And I feel like under here you can also add like certificates or if you took any classes because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot right. of people do certificates if they're getting into like UX design or like That's engineering true. developing right so instead can, of like instead a of, like, specific college or yeah. something so yeah so I think mm -hmm. education is kind of a broad sure. term um, and they can can add where he went and maybe um, by adding like the name of the college maybe there's someone that also went to that college or university mm -hmm. and they like oh we went to right. the same school yeah I think, I think that'd be good to be able to search by any of these yeah. factors you know I'm just gonna do a random one sure. that is close to me <laughs> <laughs> UC Santa Cruz woo. yay um, I don't know why I'm saying yay I don't yay know anyone all. that goes there <laughs> their <laughs> mascot is banana slugs <laughs> Banana slug. Yeah. Oh, so it's a kind, it's a kind of slug, I guess. Yeah, I've we've never, never seen it. <gasps> no. It's like a huge yellow slug that looks like a banana. What do you like mean by huge? Like, like maybe like that. <laughs> okay, you were like, it's a okay, huge. It's not that slug. that big, but it's like a bigger than Wait, normal. But how slug. big is it really? Like, like a banana. It's size. as big as a banana. Yeah. Well, a maybe slug not as big as a banana. <laughs> I don't For know. Real? Does anyone know about banana slugs in the chat? <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> it is. I've seen one in person. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> if anyone has heard of a banana slug, let me know in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> we can look it up huh. later off the stream. But, <laughs> but yeah, they're like big slugs that are yellow. And that's okay. what I asked about because in Santa Cruz, there's like a lot of them around. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, fun fact. We don't know if that's in Missouri, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, like caterpillars, but that's about it. <laughs> Val said they can be that big. Hmm. Oh. Banana sized. Yeah. I just, I'm having a hard time believing this. A banana sized <laughs> slug. Yes. All right. <laughs> so I just realized that I have these at 80% opacity. Oh, so I'm just going to bring this little... up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My apologies. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> okay. And so for education, I want to um, add like maybe what they majored in. Sure. So I was thinking of like how I could show this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this will be like 
the final way, but oh, a little what, drop down what, or something. Kind of like a little arrow. Sure. Um, that kind of yeah shows like what they studied. Nisha's googling banana slug. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I'll say that Mike got a BA in psychology. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll make it smaller. No, he got a BA in like scare, S whatever. Scareology. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> From Monsters Inc. No, no, no. He's okay. a designer, so <laughs> you can just leave it. <laughs> Nor said, don't Google it. Oh, Images are, are bizarre. bizarre. Really? <laughs> the banana slug. That's funny. Okay. Um, the thing I like oh. about this is that you made all of those forms like big enough that it's not too intimidating, mm -hmm. like on any like professional resume, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It's not like small type that you don't want to read through. It's like, oh, this yeah. is actually in interesting and you mm -hmm. made the corners rounded. So it's like more fun and friendly. Mm -hmm. So you're using those professional colors, but you're still making it approachable, yeah. you know? Thanks. <laughs> They're getting into a whole chat about the banana <laughs> slugs on the chat. They're not as big as a banana, but they are the same color. Thanks, Kat. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I haven't seen one in a really long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when I was younger, I would go to Santa Cruz like all the time and like see them. Oh. <laughs> but yes, Niche says they are real. They are real. All right, well, <laughs> I'll take your word Yay. for it. <laughs> okay, and then um, interests. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna bring this down mm -hmm. and So we've got about 40 minutes until we are reviewing the designs mm -hmm. from the challenge. So be sure to stay tuned for that and uh, share your your work on Behance with that keyword um, XD Daily Challenge, or just share it in Discord as well so we can see it there. Yay! <laughs> um, Gideon saying he can't have a BA in psychology and be interested in design. Well, I guess you will take care of all the mad design. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Um, a lot of um, psych, psych majors can transfer into UX design because it's all about like understanding mm -hmm. people and how mm -hmm. they think and how they behave. And I feel like psychology is like a good path into right. UX design. Right, right. For so sure. I'll just mm -hmm. use that as an example. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> um, M. Sadi is asking how to justify the paragraph. Um, what do you mean by how to justify? I think just like, like left or left or right. Oh, left or right. Maybe. Oh, so for this one, mm -hmm. I did left align, and I think if you if you want to, you can do like center. Mm -hmm. But since all of my other things are kind of left align, I just yeah. wanted to keep it the same way. But it's up to you. Um, I think if it's longer than three lines, you shouldn't do center because it's right. kind of hard to read because it'll like kind of go in and out. Um, I feel like centered is more for like short little mm -hmm. subtext. Yeah, I agree. Something short mm -hmm. and just like a poppy little little phrase. Yeah. Because um, it's hard for your eye to keep reading yeah. if it's centered. Your mm -hmm. eye wants to go from like left to yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so. Got our interests started. I'm just doing some. Oh, museums. 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 <laughs> for one of his interests. And then I also want, if they have shared interests, for it to be highlighted. Oh. So he'll like pizza too. <laughs> and so this will be green. And then I can do social media. I'm gonna take, so I put this like green check mark mm. on this to show that their like portfolio was connected uh -huh. um, or if they'd wanted to do their Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna take that off and then move this up here. Oh, uh, no, like justify all in Photoshop. Oh, maybe be aligning. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, like on the top. Like oh, these. this? Oh, maybe okay. that's what it means. Like aligning the paragraph? elements maybe. Um, I don't, I guess I'm not using that. I don't know. <laughs> I think 
I think it just means like yeah, this? like those those elements up okay. there mm -hmm, to the left oh. of the whole thing, or yeah, um, horse. Yeah. I guess I'm not using that in this design, but I think you could if you wanted it to be like, or if you have an object selected, mm -hmm. if you wanted it to be aligned, you can use these. But for me, I'm just kind of going off this, mm -hmm. and I'm not really using. Um, a, a layout grid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but just, you're using the pink yeah. grids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I used the layout just for the border, but for the inside, mm -hmm. I'm just kind of, I don't know, going with the flow, <laughs> I, I guess. guess. But just because this is um, this is like a concept app and or kind of just like a redesign, so yes. But in the future, I could go and make sure everything is really nicely aligned and spaced out because I don't think all the spacing perfect. is perfect, but I don't want to spend too much time on the stream because sure. I can get like kind of buried into that. But so you were saying about that green check mark. What was that one? Oh for? yeah, so that means that your like social account or is portfolio connected. was connected. Okay, gotcha. but I'm gonna take it off for the portfolio. So they have this. I'm gonna take this off and then um, on. Bumble Biz, they have like circles on the bottom that you can, if you scroll down, I think. Actually, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I believe that they have, you can either swipe or when you get to the bottom, do like an X or a heart that, like, you don't want or to a check. Them. Yeah, so X means oh. that it's a no or okay. left, swipe. Right. But then on reject. the right, yeah, <laughs> reject. On the right, it's um, it's either a check or a heart. I okay. can't remember. Um, well, unfortunately, we can use our creativity. yeah, I'm gonna Doesn't use matter. a check mark because I sure. feel like heart doesn't apply. <laughs> so that will send them a message or yeah. something. So um, I'm gonna do a dark color, and then I'm gonna make this one. Ooh, we're not connecting with them. Is that what that is? Oh yeah, so this is, well, we have the option to oh, connect I see. with them. Okay. So I'm just leaving it here. Mm -hmm. um, oops. In case the user gets to the bottom and they don't wanna swipe, they just wanna push this. Gotcha. Um, so we'll have this option as well. I think that's good to have multiple forms of entry for like the same action. Mm -hmm. um, Cause like if you pull down on something, like for search for instance, mm -hmm. you can either pull down or yeah. you can just like click on the search icon or you know, if you're on your phone and you like swipe up, mm -hmm. you wanna be able to either close the app or um, I guess like see more options like yeah. that or something, but. Um, oh, Val's asking, do I have a go-to place for icons or do I prefer to always make your own? Um, if it's like simple, I like to make my own um, just because mm. it's fun for me yeah. and I get to like practice. Um, but I like, um, there's a few sites or like places, I think Nucleo is what mm -hmm. it's called. And then Icons8 is another website. I like um, that one. And then Adobe Stock is where I got a lot of these icons, which I can show that guy, <laughs> Mike, again. Um, but this one, I got a lot of icons. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, so, and some files have like 2,000 icons no or something. Way. For or Adobe like, Stock Yeah, icons? so you can, wow. okay. you can get a lot. And huh. it's nice because all of them kind of have the same style. Right. It's whatever you're going for and you can mm -hmm. use that. So I like to do that. Um, yeah. But for, for now, I'm, we're gonna, I'm just gonna make my own because it's easier. <laughs> Why not? Than looking for something. Um, and then I'm gonna do a check really fast. Yeah, I guess in like that is Illustrator file, the only bad thing is you can't search. Like you can't oh, just type in mm -hmm. like search bar yeah. or settings. You, you have, have to, to like, look, go look through. Yeah, <laughs> and that can take a long time. <laughs> so I think in this case, it's good that you're making it. And it's also fun. Mm -hmm. And you can do this in XC, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I just use my pen tool to do that. So there's the check. Um, I'm gonna group that together. Uh, okay. And then, so there's also this option, and I, I don't know how I feel about adding it here, but maybe we can just add it. Um, but on dating apps and on Bumblebiz, they have this like 
well, on Tinder, it's called super like. So if you really like someone oh, okay. and you really want them to know, <laughs> you like swipe up on Tinder okay. and it'll let them know that you, you swipe up. Yeah. But it's so there's like different swiping motions okay. from like Tinder and Bumble, huh. which is kind of confusing. Right. Because um, on Bumble, you swipe so up and down. It's interesting that like that's a new form of. Like now we know mm. like what every I yeah. icon, it's a new form of like alphabet mm -hmm. for us yeah. or like it's way of communicating like for yeah. humans. <laughs> and now swiping like gestures mm -hmm. are a new it's form like, that yeah. everyone knows what it means, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So mm -hmm. when you super like, you let the other person know and when they come across your profile or yeah, your profile, it'll be like a different color or like stand gotcha. out in some way. Um, oh. So I guess we can add that here okay. because maybe Mike, wasn't planning to swipe right on you, but if he sees that you are really interested in him, yeah, <laughs> maybe he will swipe right. Okay. So we can add that. And um, so for the super, I, it's called super like on Tinder, and then mm -hmm. I think on Bumble it's super swipe. <laughs> okay. I think. So we're we're just gonna do so funny. that, and then so if you look on. This is the example from Bumble Biz. So this star, if you push that, it'll like super swipe oh. them. So you have to push it on them. That's a little misleading for me. I wouldn't have really? known that super. Yeah. No. It just looks like, oh, okay. That looks like an achievement button. Yeah. Or a badge <laughs> it kind to of me, does. Since it's like an octagon. Yeah. I mean, so. I've never seen it before, but that's what I would think. Like, yeah. oh, okay, let's see what her badge is. So, like, something, so when you're like swiping through, this little like banner will pop mm -hmm. up every. I don't know how many swipes, and it'll say um, tap to super swipe or something. Okay. So it kind of lets you know. Gosh, I feel so old. Okay. No. I don't know <laughs> any It's okay. Of You're married, so <laughs> yeah. it's fine. But but yeah, there, there's some interesting things. So we are going to make this, and I have this orange color saved. I don't, I think maybe I was thinking like an orange color. Yeah. Which sure. kind of matches Bumble biz and I'm gonna do a star and I tried to make my own star with a pen tool and it did not go well so I'm not gonna be doing that well we probably but, got it so. yeah so I'm gonna show a little trick that I discovered so I, I mentioned this earlier but this specific icon file it's only a fill so I can't fill it in more than this mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a border because I want it to be thicker like these. Sure. And I'm going to um, duplicate the star and bring it down to kind of imitate that it's bigger. And then I'm going to double click and you can see all these like <laughs> lines and just fill them in. Oh, tricky. Yay, look tricky. at you. <laughs> nice little trick <laughs> because I tried, I tried really hard to draw a star and sure. I couldn't. <laughs> So, so yeah. So there's our little star. Maybe we can make that looks nice. I'm gonna lock this. Group this together. Okay. Oh. Unlock. Okay. And then group. And then we have these options. Maybe we can make this bigger. To really encourage people to super mm. swipe. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. And then that's the bottom of our profile. Um, Brienne asked, do when we do the portfolio reviews, does your portfolio have to be in line with the topic of the live stream? So today we're not doing portfolio reviews. We're doing um, the daily creative challenge reviews. That is on, the portfolio reviews are on another day. I'm not sure what day that is exactly, but Today we're doing the challenges. Yay. Oh, Val is saying um, the super swipe should be very clear. So maybe I can add some text. I almost feel like it needs text okay. because I can't think of an icon that would indicate like super swipe, yeah. you know, or like super like or whatever it's called. Yeah, if I wasn't familiar, I would think this is like favoriting this mm -hmm. person or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because like, right, I don't know, right. star. Or like, means, say, yeah, yeah, favoriting. I guess I could see how it means like, yeah, favoriting. Um, and then I don't know like what to write under here. I feel like this is probably like self-explanatory. Yeah. yeah, I would think so. I also don't mm -hmm. want to write anything negative like, 
reject, reject. <laughs> or not interested. I, get, I think right, not right. interested might be the best way to say it, but mm. it's also pretty long and I don't want to have even more text on here. So, so I'm just bringing this up and then, yes, yeah, so we have this profile and I'm gonna duplicate it and just change um, the pictures. And so I made this into a path earlier so mm -hmm. that he would fit within this shape. Okay. Um, but, and I, so I wanna use Photo Splash to show you guys another oh, way to <clears throat> add images. So with a new XD update, there's a plugins panel, which is awesome. And I'm still trying to get used to it. I was still going up here to right, access my plugins. Right. Wow, you have a lot of yeah, plugins. I do. <laughs> I think I only have like three or four. Oh, really? <laughs> I know. I, I need to look at them more. <laughs> but so if you look under the layers panel, mm -hmm. I think these are binoculars or no, it's a plug. <laughs> Oh yeah, a plug -in. it looks like it a Lego of, to me. Yeah, like it does. Your plug in something, yeah. in, you know. Okay, so this little <laughs> icon <laughs> is a plugin, so it'll show up all the plugins that you have. So we're gonna use Photo Splash. Okay, so yeah, so it's a path. So I'm just gonna delete that and make a new rectangle. Does it add a photo or something? Yeah, so it'll add a picture inside. Oh. And let me make sure that the corners are rounded. Okay. And then click on photo splash and we can do a girl oh, and you can okay. look through these pictures. So this is, where are these pictures from? These are all from Unsplash. Oh, Unsplash. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a free to use image mm -hmm. website, which I really like to use. Oh yeah, I yeah. love Unsplash, So great. And then this plugin just kind of pulls images from there. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna apply this picture and take off the border. That's really nice. So you don't have to search for everything. Yeah, so you don't have to like leave XD, Download which is what it. I used to do. Go yes. to Unsplash, search. Okay, that's <laughs> back, really useful so, actually. Yeah. So it's pretty fun yeah. if you ever want to use this. Do you oh. have any other plugins that you really recommend? Um, like your favorites. You don't favorites. have to go through all of them. Oh, I love Undraw, which is from Katerina Limpitsuni. Mm. She's amazing. She's an illustrator and she has all these oh. illustrations that are free to that's use. Great. So. All you do is click on one and then it like loads it to your clipboard and then you can command V. Oh, awesome. And it's here and okay. you can change the colors to match your app or what so website. So it's vectors, cool. Yeah, so it's really nice and you can customize it. And during my XD daily challenge a few weeks ago, I took like three picture, three images or mm -hmm. illustrations and like combined them into one oh, illustration. So you can like do that neat. too. Okay. Yeah, so I really love Unsplash, huh. or sorry, not Unsplash. Undraw. Undraw, okay. <laughs> and then what else do I like? Um, I like a lot of, all these plugins are great. Well, I guess, so there was change case, but you don't need that anymore because now you can do text transformation. Mm -hmm. um, and keyboard shortcuts is also really great. If you are not, if you can't remember your keyboard shortcuts, you can type in like layout and then oh, it'll let you know. Bit. So I like that one. Nice. Like that. Hey, cool, so, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, you're welcome. Good tips. <laughs> thanks. And then I'm just gonna send this back by doing command left bracket. And I could also go in my layers panel, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks great. <laughs> maybe I can, I kinda wanna maybe make this darker, I don't know. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's a little more legible. So, oh, Gideon's saying her profession should be a park ranger. <laughs> Does anyone have any ideas for what her name should be? Let me know. And then maybe uh, she can be, so I, I don't know. So I'm wondering if, since this person filled out their interests, I wonder if like people should only be within her like industry. Or? So is this, is this ourselves? This, this is one, or this one is uh, someone else that you so another could person. potentially match okay. with. So we are a new grad um, that is interested in design. So okay. um, Drew said Monica Geller Bing. <laughs> a lot of friends references yeah. here today. Maybe you can do. Oops. <laughs> she looks like a Monica. Yeah. I wonder if 
we should put it on another line because oh yeah because it's kind of inevitably big. someone will have a longer name yeah, i guess that's you know maybe is this legible <laughs> i feel like uh, maybe we could raise the sally. gradient a little bit yeah. maybe I will do that. selfie sally <laughs> sarah kowalski oh like mike Mike Wazowski, Pam Beasley. Oh, Pam Beasley. That's cute. I love The Office. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. all that right. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can make this a little smaller. Very nice. And what should her position be besides a park ranger? <laughs> hmm. I mean, she looks like she's in the mountains. She but does. Are we staying within the design realm? Ooh. Or maybe we can go outside of the realm. Outside of the realm. <laughs> okay. Maybe she's an accountant. Accountant. Something totally different than designer. Yes. I think I'll keep her in San Francisco. Okay. Um, just because a lot of the dating apps keep like, it's in the same yeah, area, same as area you. Okay. unless you pay, oh. and then you can choose any area. Wow, you have to pay for that. Yeah, huh, so if you pay, there's like perks that are like <laughs> unlimited super size. Oh wow! <laughs> because huh. I think normally you get like one a day or something. They have like limitations. Okay, gotcha. Um, oh, Brienne says PR or event planner. That'd be Ooh, fun. I like event planner. Yeah. She looks like an event. <laughs> okay. And then I love playing hats. Um, I don't want to spend too much time That's okay. on her profile, mm -hmm. but um, how much time? Okay, we have like 22 minutes. Yeah, we've got 22 okay. minutes until our design feedback. So maybe we can not, f maybe we just change this so that it's not matching mm -hmm. our person. Um, Niche said she looks like a digital nomad. I'm not sure oh, what that means, but. I think it's like someone that, tra like they travel around the world, but mm -hmm. they work like digitally, so they don't need to be in an office. But that's correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what that means. Mm, I like that. That would be like a really cool yeah. job. <laughs> That'd probably be stressful if you didn't have good internet wherever yeah. you go. Yeah, oh god. Because that's my main thing, you know? Yeah, that would be tough. I mean, you could do that as a designer for sure, being a freelance mm -hmm. designer. So what's she looking Maybe for? She's looking for... Investing? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wants to invest in an event planning mm -hmm. company or something. Yeah. And so we're gonna keep this blue because it does not match what we're what looking we for. We are looking gotcha. for here. Um, industry, we'll just change those two. What, what is an event planner's industry? <laughs> just events. Events, I guess. okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's a specific, yeah. a specific one for that. Hmm. We'll do events for now. And change this. Our dark color, okay. And then we won't worry about the rest. And then maybe we can do, um, okay. One more person. Let's see if photo splash will work on this. Okay. So you can change out. Yeah, you can so swap you can out change. the pictures. Mm -hmm. Gideon says, wasn't Monica a chef? <laughs> yes, she was. Oh, and friends, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. I guess she could have been maybe yeah. an event planner slash chef. Sure, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, okay, let's do another girl. Um, yeah, we want them to look professional too. Yeah. So <laughs> she looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Let's see. She any... looks pretty serious. Yeah. She looks like. <laughs> Let us know what her name should be. <laughs> She or looks what, like a high-powered exec. I think she's Ooh, doing like something like a CEO. Like, or something. Yeah, I think she's a CEO. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
that'll just be her title, <laughs> CEO. Um, I run. I run the company. I run the company. <laughs> it's a bit vague. Yeah. But maybe she likes being mysterious. Maybe, yeah, she does. She seems mysterious. <laughs> okay. This will probably match, like investing in startup. Sounds like CEO territory, mm -hmm. industry. Like Ahmed business? said she looks like a Jessica. Jessica, I can see that. Business, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Runs a business company. That's so big. Yeah. <laughs> Val says like a young, very stylish business prodigy. Mm -hmm. So Jessica. she's probably looking for, she probably wants to invest. Yeah. I would say she's looking for startups mm -hmm. for sure. Nora says maybe we can include an indicator for higher level members or something. Mm -hmm. So are you saying like maybe a paid version oh. and maybe you can connect with like CEOs like her or something? Oh, you only want to connect with yeah. CEOs. Mm -hmm. What if it's like, you have or to be if accepted you into are the... a, you're a startup looking mm -hmm. for investors. Maybe oh, that's yeah. a whole separate app? Maybe. Or just like the paid portion of the yeah. app. You're trying to get funding or something. Mm -hmm. Jessica's song. I like that. And it, it kind of goes with your theme of the XD DCC. It does? Music. Music. Mm -hmm. Song. Yay. Cool. Okay, so now that we have three, mm -hmm. I'm going to make the artboard or the screen oops, that shows what it would look like if you connected with someone. Okay. Gideon says, I'm gonna change my resume and it's just gonna say, I run the company. <laughs> yes. Very humble. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, I keep, I'm not used to having the plugins right here, so right. I keep like- Yeah, in the drop down. Yeah, mm -hmm. having to go back. So we're going to say you're connected. And so I looked at on Bumble mm -hmm. Biz, when you connect, it says boom. <laughs> You've connected, oh, like I guess. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Because okay. like the images kind of like go together. Oh. And on Shaper, I actually connected with someone <laughs> just to see what it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. And I forgot what it said. I think it said. Something like a match or mm -hmm. you matched and they okay. want to meet you or something like underneath. Okay. Or you both want to meet. Right, right. I don't know. Something along those lines. Mm -hmm. But, yes. Okay, so I'm going to make this light blue. And... What are you guys up to today? Are you students? Are you professionals? Oh. Let us Are you know. working on something? Let me know what you're working on. Yeah. Are you working on the daily creative challenge? Yeah. Because we want to give you some feedback. Yes, we do. So hopefully you guys submit them for us to look at. Because yesterday we had a lot of fun looking at what mm -hmm. people were designing. Yeah. And um, Hamid has said, can you explain why everything is so big? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, is it too big? I think it makes it look friendly. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this top Very bar. Nice. Oh. Ooh, it's, <laughs> I need to put it on the top of my layers. Um, but I think later on I could like plug my phone into my laptop mm -hmm. and see yeah. how it actually looks because on here it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it might be too big and I could change that. So. Um, Ryan asked, what kind of designs can we submit for feedback? So today we're just reviewing the daily creative challenge designs that you guys have made in Discord, um, perhaps Behance too, but um, primarily I think we're gonna stay in Behance, or sorry, Discord. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have a screenshot of like your work in progress, or if you have the link to your Behance, um, we'll, look, we'll look at those. Yay. Brienne says, I'm a little confused with all the different colors. Um, I'm sorry you feel confused. It was a, it's a little confusing. Um, so green on these buttons or icons means that you, this person's profile, this girl, we haven't given her a name. Mm -hmm. um, when she selected what she was looking for when she was building her profile, 
if someone else that she's coming across has the same interest or they're looking for the same thing, it'll be highlighted in green so that it, they can know mm -hmm. right away that, oh, this you person have the same likes. Interest. Yeah. yeah. So sorry if that's confusing. And then um, this blue color is like the call to action color. So mm -hmm. like buttons, the yes, check, and this orange I kind of introduced to show the super swipe, which right. is the feature to like let someone know. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to use green because green means something else. Mm -hmm. So you yes, it might really be a little, it. yeah. <laughs> But it's okay. <laughs> we can. I can go back and, you know, edit that later. Um, Abhishek so. is working on the music app. Oh yeah! Is working on a newspaper layout. Cool. Ooh, nice. That's fun. I feel like newspaper layouts are so tough to design because mm -hmm. it's so much words and you have to kind Very of true. know yeah. where to put everything. So it's still gotta awesome. be legible, but yeah. stick everything on the page. Cute. So I just um, copied her picture mm -hmm. and then I paste. The paste appearance inside mm -hmm. of the circle. Nice. That's so, a good trick. So we're going to connect with the CEO. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take this image. And I got this image from the photo splash mm -hmm. plugin. And oops. Okay. So that didn't work. <laughs> Um, sometimes it's a bit of trial and error. Yeah. It's okay. So I'm gonna, just going to change the circle so it's the same shape. And mm -hmm. if you click on this lock button right here, it'll make sure that both the width and the height are the same. Number. Gotcha. And, and then let me go make sure I'm copying her image. do like kind of a border mm -hmm. but this might be kind of big so I'm just drawing another circle and it's hard to tell if that's even yeah <laughs> but I think it looks mm -hmm. all right and I'm gonna take off the border and then use the same light blue color one very nice and then hold alt and drag it under her and then I'm going to group these together. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. okay. So it'll be like, you're connected. Mm -hmm. And on Bumble, I think, oh, they don't have a sample. Oh, they mm -hmm. do. Oh, here it is. Boom. Oh, okay. They do so it kind of like yeah. goes close together. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have the call to action, start a chat, mm, or like keep texting. bumbling, which is... Oh. Keep swiping through. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Eleven good. minutes. Okay. So I'm gonna <laughs> speed this up <laughs> a little. Um. Let's see. You can keep working, but okay. Muhammad <laughs> asked, which is fine for designer, uh, touchpad or mice? Either one. It's just your own preference. I mean, looks like you're using your touchpad. Yeah, I use mostly. my touchpad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Um, I use my touchpad for just like most things. If mm -hmm. I'm doing something very like pen tool mm -hmm. heavy, then I'll just use a mouse because I need to get like more precise. Mm -hmm. Nish said using a stylus is more ergonomic. Um, yeah, I don't use a stylus too much. So I don't know if I should. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to like link before you can actually start yeah. talking. Or... So in this mm -hmm. case, um, you'll have to connect mm -hmm. and then you can chat with the person or send okay. them a message. Um, maybe I should say send a message. Mm -hmm. That sounds more professional. more professional. That's true. Since we are in the professional yeah. side of the app. Start chatting seems a little too casual, right. which is one of the problems we were trying true. to solve. Mm -hmm. so. This is already looking more professional yeah. for sure. Thanks. So. Oh yeah, Val said, I use a stylus all the time and a mouse sometimes. 
I think painting in Photoshop has made the stylus the most comfortable thing for me. Yeah, definitely painting, I feel like. Nice. I, I just, yeah, for my work at least, I don't use a stylus ever. But, mm -hmm. but I like, I got an iPad Pro with like an oh, Apple Pencil. Yeah, just to Do you like, like it? practice. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. it a lot. Um, I'm not very good at drawing, but I like to do I'm it sure for fun. Are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's fun. And mm -hmm. um, cool, guys, we've got about nine minutes mm -hmm. until um, we'll be doing our design feedback. So be sure to submit your links, your screenshots of your designs in Discord, and we'll be checking that out. Yay! Keep so networking. Keep cool. networking will be the secondary call to action, which mm -hmm. is why I'm kind of just doing an outline mm -hmm. to draw the attention, to send a message, to hope that they do send a message. But if they want to keep networking, they can do that. And then I also want to add an X, which I made a component um, the other day. Yeah. Oh, we've <laughs> so got responsive resize. Responsive on. resize. Yay. And we always want to give them the option to exit out if they don't want to do either of these things. So I'll just keep that there for now. Um, yes. So on Bumble, if like when you connect with someone, what the screen looks like, um, this mm -hmm. like currently. So it'll have these two images, and then your keyboard will like pop, slide up automatically, and then it'll say like. Start your message. Oh, so you just, once you say start a chat, mm -hmm. then you just start yeah. chat. So you don't even, day. there's no like starting a chat button. It just like starts it, like starts oh. the first message because for me, I'm the girl. So I have to like start the message. Gotcha. Um, so it just like prompts you to do that right away. So oh. I wonder how it looks on like on the guy's side. Hmm. Oh, and then I also checked on the settings for Bumble Biz, and you can choose if you want to do women only or everyone. Oh, uh, okay. For yeah. like who you want to see gotcha. in your search. So I thought it was interesting. It is interesting. Um, because on the Biz section, it's also women who initiate the conversation. Interesting. I feel like it's strange for right. a networking app. I agree. App, but I think that's like <laughs> Bumble's whole thing. It's sure. Like women can make gotcha. a connection and all that. So, okay. So, let me, that looks great. Thanks. I'm gonna an, um, do some auto animate okay. stuff. Okay. Let me. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Let me bring this a little. Uh, I know you mentioned you wanted to try to bring those. Yeah. Some kind of animation with like yes. bringing the two bring profiles them together. together. So to do that, I'm gonna duplicate my artboard. Mm -hmm. So everything is named the same. And then on the first screen, I'm gonna have these. Oh, I forgot to add something. <laughs> this, her name. Oh. It's just so we know who we connected yeah. with. Yeah. Right. And we wanna add the CEO because that's important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just CEO. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what company it is. Very nice. Okay. Now I'm gonna duplicate this because mm -hmm. <laughs> I added some stuff and mm -hmm. just wanna make sure all the names are the same and then just bring this up. And if I go to prototype mode, I'm gonna do a timed interaction, and if you notice, mm -hmm. there's a new thing for when you prototype, and now there's this like prototype. Yes. This panel. was in the new release. Yeah, in the new mm -hmm. release, so it's on the right side instead of just like a drop down. Instead of like mm -hmm. when you t tap this, it used to be yeah like a drop down thing mm -hmm. that would come up. Um, I'm still trying to get used to this being on the right side, but I think I think it's kind of cool, and you can do like a lot more. And one thing that's really cool is. You can drag and it'll move the screen. And before really nice. you had to like zoom out. <laughs> right. So I really like that new update. Yeah. <laughs> and I um, think the nice thing is that you can select a lot of artboards at once mm -hmm. and edit the triggers for a ton of artboards mm -hmm. instead of having to do it for each yeah. individual one. So it's nice. Oh my god, four minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just speed this up. Okay, so we're gonna do a timed transition and snap for the animation and then uh, I'm gonna 
prototype the swiping in a second, but um, actually, maybe I can do that. Or let's let's see how this looks okay. for a second. We'll just do this. Um, oh, I forgot to fix the header. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that looks great. Cool. Awesome. Maybe we can do like a 0.2 second delay mm -hmm. and see. Yay. Awesome. Cool. I kind of don't love the delay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So do we get to swipe through those people? So we're going to swipe through these people mm -hmm. right now. Um, hopefully I can do this in four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and... Top. And, and this would be easy if I named my layers, but I didn't, but that's okay. Okay, so now to swipe them, let's move this. So I'm first gonna move this out of the way because I mm -hmm. don't want it to be included, and I'm mm. gonna group everything together just so it's easy um, because when to do the swiping motion you have to include all of the elements on the other artboard right. so I'm just gonna make it into one big group and then bring this back down and I'm gonna do the same on these three okay Put that together Mohammed said it'd be great if we could remove the cross button from screen one I'm not sure which one this that one? is. Oh, the X. Um, that just means you don't want to. Yeah, this with means them, right? this is like the another way to swipe left or right. in, like you're not interested. Mm -hmm. So I, f I feel like we can leave it here just mm -hmm. to give that option. Yeah. Carwell asked for some tutorials in Spanish. Sorry, <laughs> right now it's just in English, yeah. but I believe there is like closed captioning, um, so you can at least read it if you want to. But so I'm gonna maybe in the future. Yeah, hopefully in the future. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna click on create profile, and mm -hmm. then it'll just bring him to this. So maybe mm -hmm. there could be like a page to view your own profile, but in mm -hmm. this instance, we'll just jump straight to viewing these. Um, so I'm going to copy this whole group and then paste it on this artboard. And then I'm going to, when I hover over one of the corners, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a curved arrow. So I'm going to hold shift and curve this like this way. And then kind of oh. maybe this angle. <laughs> And then I'm going to bring it off to like here and then. Oh, bring okay. I see what you're doing. I was not following for a second, but I think I see. <laughs> and so we're going to do a drag animation, okay. um, drag action, I believe. And it'll do that. Um, and then on this one, hmm, I might have to put this underneath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, behind, I guess. Yeah. And then... So what you're doing is you're lowering the opacity mm -hmm. of the cards on the left yeah. and the right side and moving them to the side mm -hmm. of the artboard so you can't yes. see them. And so, yeah, so I'm making it invisible because mm -hmm. they still need to be on both artboards. Right. But I don't want it to show. Sure. Okay. And I kind of forgot. Okay. And then we'll do a no for her. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hope... I hope this is like cohesive and works. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Yeah. And then on this one, um, we can, maybe we'll just do this <laughs> because I don't know Except how the swipe mm -hmm. right will look, but let's try this out <laughs> and see. Okay. Oh, I didn't even prototype it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jumping way ahead of myself. Okay, so to <laughs> prototype, we are going to select that whole thing, and oh my god, we have three seconds, so I'm going to try to do this really fast. It's okay. Fast. Take your time. Thanks. We can spend a little longer. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm connecting this to here, and I'm going to do a drag trigger, mm -hmm. and then auto animate is the action, and no easing. Mm -hmm. And then on this one, 
I'm gonna do the same and see, see how it goes, okay. Oh, Yay. that's okay. cool. That's oh, really cool. That girl, yeah, that girl is, or Jessica, the CEO. <laughs> She's getting think, in the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she was below, yes. Let's try that again. Yay. Nice, that's smooth. That looks Ooh. really, really good. Yay. And Very cool. We'll read her information. Yay. That looks cool. so great. Wow. Thanks. That that's... was awesome. I, yeah, the end, the animations really brought it all together. Yay. Woo. Awesome. Oh, thanks, Val, for saying that. Yeah, I'm glad we took a few Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Yay. So that's, I guess, kind of how this app would like mm -hmm. function. You would just swipe through yeah. and then connect. Did a That's fun so little cool. connecting animation and yeah. some swiping. And maybe I can show it one more time in yeah, case anyone it. missed it. Um, so I think we can even swipe here, but mm. then it'll, it won't go back to the top. But I think I might have preserved scroll position on. I don't know. We can check that later, but yay. And then connecting with Jessica, awesome. the CEO. That looks so Yay. great. Thanks. And I think the opacity, changing that mm -hmm. to zero, really helped, otherwise it would, the dragging wouldn't yeah. turn out too well, mm -hmm. I think. And it kind of like dissolves right. a little bit. It dissolves, yeah, yeah. very yeah. gradual. And then really fast, Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry to no, be okay. over time, but I realized right now that I'm probably not gonna have time to show how I would turn this into a case study and upload it to Behance, which oh, was one of right. my goals <laughs> for today. But so I already had all these screens that I shared at the beginning of the video. So if you missed it, you can go back. Mm -hmm. But I basically turned the colors to match the color of the app. And so I think just the important information to have is any research that you've done. So I did some competitive analysis. Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my goal, user goal, the problem, personas. And then I highlighted like this is a persona. Okay. So. On my case study, I will upload this to Behance mm -hmm. after this, um, and you guys can all look at it. Yeah. And then, um, sorry I couldn't show that live, but I would just add all mm -hmm. these and then film a video using XD mm -hmm. of like the swiping motion yeah. and then talking through that. And yeah. Awesome. Yay. Thank you so much for sharing <laughs> that. I'm looking Thanks. forward to seeing, seeing that on Behance. Thank you. Cool. Well, why don't we go ahead and we'll jump on over to my computer. Cool. I've already got Discord pulled up here. Let me make sure. Yeah, so I'm in the design feedback channel um, in the Adobe XD server, and we're just gonna go through Yay. and look at some I'm of the excited. design challenges. Hopefully from today. I know some <laughs> of you guys have been, yeah. you know, uh, jumping around to different days, mm -hmm. and that's totally fine if you're just starting on the first day yeah. today or whatever, but so we'll give you some feedback. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the most recent ones. So we're down here at the bottom. This is Ivana. Um, this is her challenge day six. Ooh. So responsive resize. Nice. So um, we did from iPhone to iPad. That's cool. Yeah, I think Very nice. you did a really good job with like mm -hmm. the spacing. I think it's so everything still works really well, mm -hmm. and it's still like the same design but transformed into tablet. Yeah, nice. I agree. I think because we saw hers yesterday mm -hmm. yeah, too, yeah. and um, I think we gave her some feedback mm -hmm. to adjust the padding on the left and the mm -hmm. right sides. Um, I would almost feel like. We need to add another one up here for the mm -hmm. iPad though, because now we've got a lot of empty space oh, yeah. up here. Or even just like make these buttons a little longer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it fills up too. the space a little more. Yeah. yeah. Awesome job, Yay. Ivana. Great job. We'll give you a, what was well, the emoji the thing today? For Oh, today? it was a candy. Okay. Or a peppermint candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Hannah. I think we might have seen Oh yeah, the, was some, it the yellow one? Yes, it's... Hannah from yesterday, but it looks like she updated today. So not totally finished with today's yet, but I had to, I had this idea to go through and modify all of the specific sound elements. Okay, let's see if I can, I don't know if I have my um, Ooh. noise turned on. Uh, let's see, I don't have my sound up there. 
So sorry if there's sound on here. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> we're watching it. Oh, this is nice. This looks so cool. What do you think? I really like this. I like um, how you designed, I don't, and I don't know if it's like hard to see on the screen, but it's kind of like, it breaks off into its own section when you click on like treble, bass, mm -hmm. or pitch. And I think that's a really cool way to show that this is the highlighted section. And then you have like the drop shadows. And I really like how this is designed. Yeah, I love um, this. I don't know what these icons, is that like, I can't read it, sorry. Oh, like these little these ones the, right here? Yeah, the ones in the middle. They're a little small. Yeah, so I don't know exactly what that means. Um, maybe feedback. you can use some like text or maybe make them a little bit bigger just to see, but yeah, yeah I think it, it looks really nice. I do think everything else on the screen though is like a good size for your finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I feel like this is about the size, yeah. honestly, mm -hmm. of an iPad, yeah. and like this would be perfect yeah. for my finger. I agree. Um, I think yeah. my only suggestion on this one would be to maybe remove the drop shadow just on this top one, mm -hmm. because I think, so the guitar is for the whole page. Mm -hmm. um, so it looks like treble, bass, pitch, tempo maybe are, these are all part of the guitar, so mm -hmm. I think this should seem like it's um, oh, cohesive with point. this. Not just like, it looks very segmented, mm -hmm. like the bottom versus yeah. the top, but that's my only suggestion yeah. though. Maybe you can make this, or I don't know, like a different color, but mm -hmm. then that might be too yellowy. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe yellow is just an accent yeah. color, yeah. as opposed to using mm -hmm. it all over. Yeah. But this looks really yeah. nice. This is awesome. Great job. The layout I think is like on point, mm -hmm. sizing of everything. Yeah. Good job, Hannah. Okay, let's scroll up a bit, see what else we got. Um, day six feedback. All right, I think we saw his yesterday, yeah. like his previous mm -hmm. ones yesterday. So I wonder if I can make this a little bigger. It's a little hard to see. There we go, perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's any bigger, <laughs> <Yeah>. but. <laughs> cool, what do you think? Cool, I like it, I like how it's laid out. Mm -hmm. um, my one thing that I'm initially seeing is the purple drop shadow on mm. this, on the iPad version. Right um, yeah, I noticed that you have a green drop shadow on this one, which I think uh, kind of matches the theme a little bit better. So I would maybe change that just so it's more cohesive when you like move from I agree. iPhone to iPad. Um, yeah, I actually like how um, you chose five instead of six. Circular, circular knobs here because mm -hmm. in my UI kit I did six but this is oh. everything here is like very like even mm -hmm. but it's kind of nice like my eyes are yeah, like okay I, like I get a break like over that. here yeah <laughs> like this is all super even this is all super even but it's nice it's like okay we got some more white space mm -hmm. over here yeah I agree with you on the purple drop shadow mm -hmm. that's all my feedback yeah though. This but looks it, it looks good and I like that you actually made the you put the designs in actual mock-ups, which mm -hmm. is nice. Yeah, it always looks nice in mock-ups. Yeah. Cool, great job. Let's give you a peppermint. Yay. <laughs> and what else do we have? We've got Jasmine. Jasmine's back. We saw, I think Yay. we looked oh, at yeah. Jasmine's yesterday. So this is one page and this is the second one. So, oh, this is day five. Um, she said, I didn't man to manage to flush out the entire flow. Probably will do it tomorrow or later, still figuring out the flow. So, yeah, this is cool. What do you think? Cool. Um, I wonder. This, oh, this is right. the retro oh, one. Retro? It was, oh, right? that's right. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. With the cool, the cool I, like, mixer. Logo. Yeah, yeah. I uh, remember record logo. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my first question, mm -hmm. well, I really like this, like that line and you can kind of yeah. like drag this. See where down. you are in yeah, the song. Yeah, I really like Love that. It. I'm just kind of wondering, like, you can't really see where I'm pointing, but where- Here you can use the mouse. Oh, thank oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> um, what this pink bar represents and like what these two buttons mean. Um, the pink kind of takes up a lot of the screen and I don't know, I'm kind of curious. Um, and I just saw Val said, ooh, a piece of candy. And <laughs> is that from um, Family Guy? <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking no. about? 
um, Peter is like walking and then he sees Candy and he's like, ooh, he's Candy. Oh. <laughs> I, I, don't know I haven't like, really <laughs> watched that, so I'm, I haven't watched it in a while, but I just remember that. Head. that quote. <laughs> so, anyway. Mel's on fire yeah. with the quotes Mal, today. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so sorry, but, but yes, back to the design. Um, yeah, I think that would be my only question is maybe if there's other places you can place those Mm -hmm. that might, maybe might not take up the screen, but, and then I wonder like, what does plus do? Does that add more icons? I'm thinking maybe more instruments. Oh, instruments. Like maybe this is one type of instrument. Ooh. Or maybe more songs all at once, I think. Um, yeah, I love this like meter or just like indicator of where you are. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like that too. And let's go on the other page. This is cool. I like this. I like the, the, again, the indicator. This little red line. Yeah, it looks really nice. That looks nice. And this looks like a turntable. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, it looks like a real turntable. looks cool. cool. I will say, I think the yellow drop shadow is throwing me off a little Mm -hmm. bit. I almost want it to be like a darker Darker blue, mm-hmm. a little bit darker than this, yeah. just so it matches a little better. Um, but I think you like this. I feel like it's a good amount of yellow for the accent color. Mm-hmm. Um, like it's not too much because yellow is one of those colors where it can be kind of illegible mm-hmm. if you True. have a lot of yellow on white. Mm-hmm. But this is like okay, my eyes aren't going too overboard, mm-hmm. and those areas really stand out. Yeah. But it yeah. looks really cool. Cool. Thanks, Jasmine. That's awesome. Job. Let's give you a little piece of candy. Here you nice. go. <laughs> Yay. Oval said, yes, it was from Family Guy. <laughs> Yay. Well, I'm glad you got that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this is another one, um, I believe, from... I don't know if we distributed person? this. The same person. Okay, let's see. Ooh, nice animations. Sign see. up. Very nice. Let's see. We'll click on John. Okay, so this is John's song. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'll go back. Transitions are very yeah. smooth. I like these icons Ooh. down here. I actually haven't seen an icon like this. I like that. Yeah. Like the think, community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Reminds this is really like- nice friends or like chatting or something yeah, yeah mm-hmm. community <laughs> i don't really have too much feedback yeah. for this one i think it's looking great yeah this looks really good yeah i i nice. would say this page looks a little different than the rest though. Mm-hmm. like um i think because these are all using drop shadows like mm-hmm. the soft drop shadow yeah. we're using a lot of bright colors same here mm-hmm. we're using a lot of bright colors um here kind of looks different too. Mm-hmm. Like this is all flat, and then this is. Yeah. So I, I feel like this page and this page seem a little disjointed mm-hmm. to me because these two pages look very similar. So if you want, I think maybe these could be like each cards that have little drop shadows. Yeah. Um, add some more of those bright mm-hmm. colors on this page because it looks t- like a different app almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think they all look really nice, but mm-hmm. I think to make it the app seem more cohesive, I think it would be cool to stick with how you designed the first few mm-hmm. pages with all the colors. Um, yeah. yeah. But I, li- I like the layout of this. I think Me it too. looks really nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Let's give you a piece of candy. Piece of candy. <laughs> I should have had you choose it with me because oh, it's okay. I like the piece today. of candy because of the Family Guy reference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is by Nick. Day challenge, mm-hmm. uh, day five challenge. Feedback needed. Yes. So this is the instrument cool. page, and this is the begin recording Ooh. page. Nice. Nice. This looks cool. This is all like really well spaced out here. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. What do you think? I agree. I think it's nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the adding more tools. Um, so I'm imagining mm-hmm. when you click on one of the like muted purple colors, mm-hmm. it'll be like the bright purple once it's highlighted. So right. That's cool. Um, it, can you go back to the first yes. screen, please? Thanks. Um, so I, on this screen, I wonder like if you push the plus button, where do you go to the next screen? Is this like scrollable? Mm. Because I see like the bottom two 
um, like progress. I don't know, like what mm-hmm. what do you call this? Yeah, <laughs> like progress, progress indicator. Indicator, yeah. yeah. So when you you're like, saying see, it needs a next button or something? Maybe because yeah. I feel like to me when I see that I know I can maybe swipe through and get to like the next screen. But sure. if I select like violin, will that take me to the next screen or will right. it like add it to mm-hmm. my like? instrument bag or I don't know. Yeah. I like that your instrument bag. Yeah. That's neat. So I would be curious about how that just how you get from one to the next. That makes sense. But I like that you have the indicator at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think begin recording needs like more of a button. Mm -hmm. Because this to me just seems like an indicator. Yeah. Like I wouldn't think I can press on that, Mm -hmm. but that's my only feedback on that one. And I agree with with you on like a next button or something, Mm -hmm. you know. But yeah. really good. Awesome. Thanks, Nick. Great work. <laughs> okay, this is Miriam. This is the day five challenge. Yes. Whoa. Ooh, very, this like, is cool. Techno. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, so it's the medley maker. So Ooh. you're going for more of like a neon. Yeah. Neon with black. I nice. feel like I'm in um like a club, a club. or something. Yeah, I was like thinking that dark. too. There's a bunch of bright lights, lights everywhere. <laughs> it's definitely it looks like cool. hitting Whoa. the. Oh, that's neat. Nice. Yeah, I really like that. Cool. This is really cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see what this was. Day one. Love that. Day two, we've got all the buttons nice. and icons. Day three was the search by voice. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Cool. Day four. Ooh, oh, I did trumpet. a trumpet. Okay. Nice. I don't Very think I've creative. seen one. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow, really that cool. Looks so cool. And it's like highlighted. Oh, oh. wow. Yay. Can I, I click on cool. this or no? Oh, it's a video. That's awesome. That is amazing. You know, the neon is really working mm-hmm. for this. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. It's like Yay. that really pops. And I, I like how you designed the like play back. Right. It's on the different. right side. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I think it works. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think you did a great job. This is amazing. Yeah. And like yeah, this, this one, cool. this one looks so great. Yeah. That like light gr- light green mm-hmm. is just really popping. I yeah. love that so much. This yeah. is awesome. I mean, do you have any feed- feedback? Like, I feel like I don't okay. have any yeah, feedback. Like, like everything's everything just looks blown really away. good. Um, this maybe is so like cool. if you scroll all the way down. All the way down? Okay. One oh, here thing. You oh, sorry. So to me, these. Mm-hmm. Don't seem as bright and neony, if that's a word. Right, <laughs> as right. The ones they're oh, a little more muted. Yeah, as the ones that you had up here, like the style mm-hmm. and vibe, mm-hmm. or aesthetic, as Val says. Yeah. <laughs> um, so maybe I would change, make these colors a little bit brighter, just to match mm-hmm. the, the theme of everything. But sure. I think. Everything else looks really awesome. Yeah. I don't really have too much other feedback other than that. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. That looks great. Wow. Yay. I love the trumpet. Um, <laughs> the trumpet is so yes. fun. Great job. Okay, I'll oh, give you can- a candy. Piece of candy. <laughs> I looked at Ooh. this one during the um, Daily Creative Challenge, nice. but this was a that guitar one. looks one. really cool. I love that people are going with the like different, different instruments, instruments and not yeah. just piano. Okay, this is from Paul. Let's look at Paul's. Ooh. Boogie box. Oh, that's cute. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so he's oh, going cool. with more of like a circular. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've, I think here. I've seen this okay. on Discord before, gotcha. and I really like this, this layout. This is so fun. The like circles remind me of records, so I think yes. it looks really nice. That goes with like the boogie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, this is really very cool. fun and yeah. playful. Oh, we might have looked at this one because oh. these colors look familiar to me. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is. Day one, or no? This, this is, is this is the steps search. of the voice search. Okay. I like the the things coming out of the trumpet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it looks really I nice. Love those illustrations. Yeah, illustrations. <laughs> like I do love the logo, mm-hmm. but I think almost that this one could be, maybe that's just on the homepage or mm-hmm. something. Because right now I think it's taking up a lot of yeah. real estate on the rest of I the page. Agree. And like on the screen, it's kind of like competing with the rest, like the next. The most right. important thing, which is what the screen does, trumpet sounds. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can do like just the music icon and maybe like in the corner or something. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So, like a beat. Yeah, it's kind of 
those two are competing mm-hmm. against yeah. each other. Nice. This pa- this um, screen right here, I almost wanted to match yeah. the other colors though, like the like the green and neon navy. green yeah. to navy gradient. Um, but that's pretty minor. Ooh. Nice keyboard triggers. See, it looks nice there. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's necessary there, yeah. but like it looks nice. Yeah. And you got the layout. Nice. This looks so I like great. how you're displaying everything on Behance. It looks yes. really nice. Amazing job. Cool. See, the colors here look nice. Like mm-hmm. I, I love these like bright at the bottom, dark mm-hmm. up top. Yeah. But I feel like it doesn't match. Um, where was that that other page? This like one? this trumpet yeah. page, yeah. Perhaps. I agree. I would then say like choose one like, or the other, yeah. maybe. I want to see like the rest of these. Yeah. Um, screens. They all look but really nice. Hard to see on yeah. um, on the angle. Yeah. Awesome! Wow, Yay. that one was Good so job. Great. Thanks, Paul. Let's give you a peppermint. Yay. Wow, he's got a lot of oh yeah classes. He does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so cool. this is Alia Zaz. We might have seen part of this yesterday, mm-hmm. I believe. Or did this we? I don't know. Cool. We'll create your own music. I think this is prototype, maybe. Did we look at this one yesterday? Mm, I don't think so. I don't okay, think maybe I've I did. Challenge day one. And then nice. this is the day two where they're working on the buttons, I believe. Day nice. three. So search by voice and then after search. Day four was the piano Ooh. with the triggers, the keypad triggers. Day five, this was, oh, create like two or more art boards. Mm-hmm. That's kind of nice how you have the, the waveform down mm-hmm. here. I would say do you have any initial like comments um, or do you want to look at the You can videos? look at the videos and okay. see. Whoa. Fun. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Ooh. piano. Nice. That looks so great. I like the color changing mm-hmm. from black to purple mm-hmm. to match with the theme. That looks really cool. That's really nice. <laughs> I love that like yeah. splash screen animation. The colors are very playful. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Whoa, very nice. like psychedelic. Oh, it's like listening. Almost. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Just kind of like psychedelic. Cool. Oh, I have one mm-hmm. small feedback for this screen. Um, the purple like box or rectangle, it's a little hard to see um, the like the not selected ones. Oh. Um, so against the background, maybe you could do like a white color or something just to make it stand out a little more. And then I think the the bright purple works really well, but the other ones, it kind of like fades into the background mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But. Let's see. Let's watch the last one. Oh, Ooh. that's cute. Cool. How the little record moves up. Nice. Ooh, that's, that's really cool. cool. Nice. That's awesome. Yay, good um, job. Let me see if I have any feedback. I I think maybe try to pick one color only mm-hmm. for your accent color, because there's a lot of colors going on mm-hmm. here. We've got the purple, we've got the yellow, red, pink. Mm-hmm. It seems like mostly you have the purple, so yeah. I would say maybe use purple for like the back Mm-hmm. Um, like your search and your buttons and things. And maybe you could use this pink because you're using the pink a lot mm-hmm. elsewhere. Pink for like just things like this, like mm-hmm. the, the little carousel yeah. indicator, when something is pressed, um, like it could be pink here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things like I that. agree. Yeah. Because it's just a lot of colors. Mm-hmm. Wow, really great! Can tell job. you spent a lot of time on yeah. this. This is amazing. It looks really cool. Great, great job. Let's give Yay. you a little peppermint. Yay! Here we go. Oh, cool. okay. We are almost out of time. Yeah. Do you want to? Um, I'll switch back to you. Okay. And yay! Um, um, this was really fun. Yeah. And oh, let's look at a really close, like side by side. 
of my first redesign, okay. which is this orange one, yeah. from a year and a half ago to today's redesign. And I think I, I can see a big difference just yeah. from looking at it side totally. by side. So it's kind of cool to look back on and see how it's I would do things cleaner, differently. Yes, sure. I agree. A lot cleaner mm -hmm. and maybe more aligned. Maybe not perfectly mm -hmm. aligned because I didn't really focus too much on spacing mm -hmm. during our stream, but I think it looks a little more simple and maybe mm -hmm. a little more minimal than I think I had too much going on here. But yeah. I agree. I think you really focused on like what's most important mm -hmm. yeah. in the redesign. Mm -hmm. Um, you got rid of like the huge photo, it's a little smaller, and you yeah. focused more on the accomplishments mm -hmm. of the person, yeah. where they're working and such. Yeah. Um, awesome. awesome. Yay, well, thank that was you. so fun to watch yeah. you work. Thank yes. you so much Thanks, for joining, everyone. Melody. Yeah, and sorry I couldn't get to Behance, but I will be uploading this on Behance soon, mm -hmm. hopefully in the next few days, once I get everything finished and put together, and I'll share that with you so you can see how it came together as a case study. But that sounds great. Yeah, this was really fun. Thanks, yeah. Andrea. You were great for joining. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone Doing in the, the chat. chat. Yes, this was really fun. Yep. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. We'll see you tomorrow. See you Thanks for joining. <laughs> bye.